Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Our chilliest day, uh, well, this early uh, winter season, and uh, boy, just low 50s to middle 50s for everybody this afternoon. And the breeze was going too, so it definitely felt chilly out there. We had some sun, we had some clouds, and we had some showers that continued today. Uh, looked pretty nice on satellite imagery with just a few puffy cumulus clouds, but they did yield a few drops, and that'll happen when you have a very cold atmosphere. You can see all the snow going up in the Sierra early this morning. They picked up somewhere between four and almost seven feet in some cases. So it was a monster of a snowstorm as we expected. And Doppler radar showing those lines of showers. You can see the breaks in between them, right? So those are showers, but they were heavy at times. Coming through, a big batch came through the peninsula down to Carmel this morning, and then it started to taper off. We saw a little bit of snow. You can see the white there up in the hills, up in the higher peaks of the Santa Lucia. So had all the ingredients we talked about last week coming together. Lots of moisture, lots of cold, got some wind, uh, but overall we fared pretty good. There were some power outages, some slides, and some damage, but that's what you get with a good winter storm. Unfortunately, that's a part of it. Satellite and radar showing this system now starting to exit. Raining all the way down to Tijuana right now. And you can see the snow starting to wind down in the Sierra, starting to continue, though, uh, down in the San Gabriel. So, again, outside of Los Angeles, getting some snow. And satellite and radar showing there's the next system already starting to take shape in the Gulf of Alaska. So there's very little time now between these two systems. We will have a dry day tomorrow. There goes one. Here comes the next one. And what is interesting in terms of the overall pattern when we look at El Nino, La Nina, the MJO, and we throw these terms out at you sometimes, there's high pressure out here, which is good for us, actually. Last year, high pressure sat up over California like it did in November and blocked everything. Right now the high is out there, so the lows can come down. And if we can keep a pattern like this going for a while, we're really gonna uh, do well, at least for the next couple of weeks to a month. And long range plans say that it should stay wet in some form or fashion for a while, and I'm liking that. Now actual storm systems, those will have to time out as we get a little closer, but I like the overall pattern. Microcast showing the breeze out of the west, which will shift. It'll lighten up, be very light in the morning, but you'll notice the southerly winds start coming in. That will start to bring moisture back to the Santa Cruz Mountains tomorrow afternoon. Could be very, very light, maybe has some sprinkles, some light rain late in the afternoon. But then towards evening hours, it starts to move in. There is a little tap to the tropics, so we have a, what we'll call a little baby atmospheric river. Nothing like what we just had. But again, the Santa Cruz Mountains will be the focus for this one again. And then down into the Santa Lucias, that's overnight, tomorrow night into Thursday morning. By 8 o'clock, we're back to just some showers, and the rest of Thursday should be basically breezy and chilly with drying conditions. So again, uh, by Friday, we're definitely dry. That's a, probably the nicest day of our week in terms of getting some more sunshine. So how much more rain? We probably could see somewhere between about an inch to two inches up on the higher peaks in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Everybody else down low, though, probably a half an inch to an inch along the coast and maybe a quarter of an inch more or less in the valley. So this isn't a huge rainmaker for us, but it'll add to our totals, which we need to continue to do, and it shouldn't really cause any major problems. 32 to 45 overnight. The overnight forecast is a little tricky. There's still some clouds around, and they're probably going to stick with us through the night. So we might get down to the low 30s in a few spots, but more likely middle and upper 30s to low 40s. It'll still be, though, really damp and chilly in the morning, so it's heavy coat weather, gloves, hat, and all that good stuff for you to start off the day. 50s will do it for you tomorrow with the increasing overcast, the winds start coming out of the south, and then our late rain chance. So again, that late afternoon or evening start in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and then everybody else a little bit later, probably between about 7 and 10 p.m. Low to mid 50s tomorrow. So again, we're starting off with mostly 30s and 40s. We're only ending up in the low to mid 50s and the overcast will take over again throughout most of the afternoon. So it uh, might not be the prettiest of days, but certainly a dry day for the most part. Wednesday, we have those showers again in the evening. Overnight rain into Thursday morning, then we get a break. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday look dry at this point. We'll see our temperatures come up a little bit, mid 50s to low 60s. And then another chance, a kind of a complicated looking system, maybe end of the weekend into next week, could actually be a big one for us. We'll see. Could stay off the coast. This one's a little bit uh, strange in terms of <laughs> the way it's moving. I'll say that. And basically 30s. Now, the next thing to worry about, if you want to worry about it, is Friday night, we could see a hard freeze in the valleys. We dry out, we could be down into the upper and middle 20s in the colder spots like we had a few nights ago with those upper 20s, 26, 27, 28 right. degrees. And then we'll be warmer when the moisture comes back. But thankfully, still having raindrops out there in the long range forecast looks good to me. Yeah. All right. Sounds All right. good. Yeah. Weather quiz. Okay. okay. 
this heavy rain we had this week, it's basically eliminated the drought concerns now. No. Um, we were pretty, I'll say no. Yeah, no. We are, if we are at 200% of normal, but we, we have to remember it's that marathon, not a quick race. Yeah, we've got sprint. a long way to right. go. So if we stop, we're going to be in bad shape. If we keep going like this, we're going to be in great shape. But it would really take probably a couple of winners to make yeah, up to really how give far us, yeah. back we are, because realistically, we're not going to probably end up at 400% of average. Right. We'd have destruction everywhere if we had Yeah, that. sure. So we don't right. want that. But you know what? Having 150% of an average season? Take that. Fantastic. All right. Fantastic. Yep. All right. Thanks, Thanks Lee. Lee. Mm -hmm.